Hello everybody, it's Pokemon 69 here. I don't know if you know, but a year ago today, I posted my first video and my first review video, reviewing Black Panther Wakanda Forever. So much has happened since then. I did my face reveal, I started Pickle Man, I got a new setup. I. So much has happened. But. Let's look at the thing that I'm most proud of. Well, the two things. First thing is my reviews. That's most of the videos on my channel, and I put a lot of effort into them. And the second thing is Pickle Man. Pickle Man is a show that I've created with a few other people. Well, it was my idea originally. Um... And it's up to episode 8 now, and we should be filming the finale very soon. I'm very sorry, everyone. It's been two months since the last episode, and it, I know it's been long, but it should be out before Christmas. I know Christmas is quite a while away, but... Literally, what I'm going to do, I'm, I'm going to release episode 9 as soon as I edit it. And two to four days later, I will release episode 10. Because I feel so bad that it's still not released after all of this time. I'm very sorry. But Pickle Man on reviews, you can't really mix that together. You kind of can. So I have my Chromebook there and I've written a script for reviewing every single episode of Pickle Man. So, let's start. Now, the pilot episode. Ah, what an episode. This episode is not relevant to the story. It is so not relevant to the story. It is very confusing. It's not a good introduction to the series. And there's so many plot holes. Who was the guy at the start who got killed? Who was he? Was he just some random guy? And who shot my character? Who shot him? And also, why did he wake up after he got shot? And when he woke up with the... When he, like... Respawn with the rip shirt and the knife. What did he do? Who did he kill? What happened? It's so confusing. I thought it was good, and then I like rewatched it a few, like a few days later. And I was like, oh my god, this is terrible. Please, I'm. I did have a plan actually. Um, for the finale of Pickle Man, which would, like, go back to the pilot and would reveal stuff about the pilot. We do have... There will be explanations. I know it's not that relevant to the story, but there is kind of an explanation to what happens in the pilot, like, to who shot my character in season two. Hopefully, they'll, if we can actually get that character into the... To season two which is going to be like a really good se season so like stay tuned for that but it's probably not going to release till 2025 <laughs> um <coughs> sorry but yeah this episode is trash so yeah episode two was a good episode now, my intention for Pickle Man is that it was going to be a very, like, dark, like, mystery thriller. Episode 2 completely changed that. It's... It completely changed it. So, it's a very cool episode. You kind of start to understand in that episode what the Halon is. Like, you have a, like... Before that you didn't really know who Pickle Man was and then you understand about the name. 
went on to Google Translate, like, typed up Arabic, English for Arabic, typed up Pickle Man, and it's actually Muhalahon. So that's the whole name behind Muhalahon. But Muhalaho, we just put, just put ho at the end of it. You know why we did that. Um, you also get to see what Pickle Man is. Also introduces Lego Shoes Guy. Who you don't know the name of Lego Shoes Guy until episode eight, which is because we didn't, we just didn't have a name for him. And then, like, when I was writing the few, the last few episodes, I was like. Gonna need a name for this guy. So, um, he always wears Lego shoes. His shoes are literally Lego. So we called him Lego Shoes Guy. That's the story behind the name Lego Shoes Guy. But yeah, it's a nice ending leading into episode three. Because Pickle Man like kills Lego Shoes Guy at the end of the episode. <gasps> Funny thing, Lego Shoes Guy was actually supposed to be a god. When we were filming the second episode, we were thinking, should he be like a god? Like, but then we thought that'd be a bit too, like, wouldn't really be able to explain it. And it'd be a bit weird, so we didn't go with it. But on to episode three now. Yeah. Episode three. You get an introduction to the villain of the season, series, maybe. Not series because we all know what happens in episode eight. Um, introduction to Stanley Rots, who is like the coolest guy ever. Funny thing, my friends has actually made a Pickle Man fan account on TikTok. Uh, you, you can go find that, but there's only one video on that, and it's an edit of Stanley Rots, and it's the sound where it's like. But I think I'm liking her more. She does the things I never asked for. No, no. Does that and it's like... Um, Stanley Rots in episode 4. Then it's Stanley Rots in episode 7 with Pickle Man. Um, so yeah, you can go find that. I'm begging her to make more videos, please. Please make more edits. Next time do an edit of me! Amazing edit of me. Okay, yeah, so episode three, yeah, back to episode three. You get your first chase. Oh. Now that I've just said that, I realise it's not the first chase. Because the first chase was the first scene in the whole of Pickle Man. But as I said, the pilot does not matter! So it's the first chase and the first fight scene. Because Pickle Man's. Ooh, Stanley Rock starts beating the living hell. Out of me. Um, has a really confusing ending because I'm sat down on the bench panting. Stanley Rots comes over, pats me on the shoulder, and I'm like, oh no. Stanley Rots then disappears. The whole reason is because there was three of us there. And we needed Lego Shoes Guy to come up and strangle me. But how we spoke, and Stanley Rots needed to be next to me, but we couldn't have, we didn't have anyone to film it. So that's why Stanley Watts disappeared. Yeah, I don't really know why. Um, yeah, you learn a bit about Pickle Man before you met my character. Um, yeah, that he used to be with Stanley Watts, you know. Um, also, bet you forgot about this organisation, the AMPS. Anti Muhalahon Oh, is it the APMS? The anti pickle man. That'd be the APMS. I don't actually know what AMPS stands for anymore. Something like the Anti Pickle Man Society, but it's AM, not AP. Maybe it was supposed to be APMS, but I just 
typed it wrong. Oh. Yeah, that's not been focused on. Anywhere. Other than. At the end, when it says. Find out more in the next episode. The AMPS. That was like, and then episode like four and five. Focuses more on that, and then you never hear about it again. Maybe try to rewrite. Maybe I should, yeah, rewrite that into the finale. Talk about the APMS. Okay, moving on to so four. Yeah, I did a little bit of a cut there, you know. You see the first version of Mister Die. The first, because we all know what happens in episode five. Um, you see the first version of Mr. Die, which is, Mr. Die is a bodyguard of Stanley Rocks, the founder of the A.P.M.S. Um, and then the death of Lego Shoes Guy. May rest in peace, but I don't really care about it, because he was barely in any episode, so you can't compare uh, to any of the other deaths in the show. Well, there's one death that you can't compare it to. That's the death in episode 8. Just, just, come home. Stanley Rots. Please. Um, Teddy talks in Pickleman's body. Now, that is a plot point, because I accidentally... Spoke and I was wearing the hat and sunglasses, so we had to write that in. Um, which is an improvement, it's an improvement that you can know. It sets well for episode five. Also, Mr. Die is like really funny because he gets shot. Mr. Die is actually a foreshadowing. So, Kaylin, who plays the first version of Mr. Die, and Jamie, who plays the second version of Mr. Die. So, in episode four, they're supposed to be. Mr. Die and Mr. Alive. Caelan was always going to play Mr. Die. And then Jamie was going to play Mr. Alive. Jamie didn't show up that day. So Mr. Die. We kind of did like this really thing. Mr. Die was always going to survive. But Mr. Alive was going to die in episode 4. Like he was just going to get shot. And like never come back. So that's why. Um, he goes, Mr. Die survives another day. When he gets shot and runs away. After that, Caden tripped over. Like, when we cut the cameras, he tripped. Because he was running away and then he tripped. Which is kind of funny. But it would have been fun to get that in. I think you could see it just near the end. He just, just, like, loses his balance a bit. Uh, but then it cuts. Just like this video will. Okay. On to what I think, personally, besides from the pilot episode, is the worst episode. Of Pickleman, episode five. It's the most boring episode. Also, you see a random A P M S A M P S. I don't really know the name of the corporation. Uh, I'm just going to call it the A P M S because it sounds better. The A P M S random A P M S guard who has five seconds of screen time, then gets shot. Like. Literally. By the way, that was the person who plays the APMS guy, guard, Holly. Was actually the, the episode was actually shot on her phone. Because I barely had any battery. And Jamie, who plays Mr. Die, had no storage. And Connor, who plays Mr. Rots, just didn't want to. Pretty simple. Um, actually, in that episode... You can see a blooper. I accidentally added in a blooper. Which is, which is I'm not going back and changing it ever. It's because it's kind of funny. So there's a blooper in the episode. Huh. Um. Oh, yes. The second version of Mr. Die. Has a hot date with his pillow, apparently. Watching Barbenheimer. Because at that time it was Barbenheimer. Fun fact, by the time this is released, I would have watched Oppenheimer. Because this is a Friday, this is releasing on the Sunday, 
And tomorrow, Saturday, I'm watching Oppenheimer. And I'm watching the Marvels. And I'm watching FNAF. And I'm watching the finale of Loki. And I'm watching Barbie again. Because live, laugh, love Barbie. Any, oh my god, I nearly fell off my chair then. Right, back to version 2 of Mr. Die. He, um, dies. At the end of the episode, he gets shot. Um, I was going to spoil a massive thing there for the finale. Um, <laughs> oh my god, that would have... I would have to rewrite the finale if I did that. Or just refilm this clip. Um, <laughs> yeah, yes, he dies. Very sad. It's very obvious what I was going to say, wasn't it? Actually, wasn't because you think I was going to say that he comes back. But he's not coming back. Because if you saw the end of episode 8, you probably know he's coming back. You probably know who's coming back. Anyways. Um, Mr. Watts takes Pickle Man. Which was very sad. Actually, a few days later, me and Connor were on the set of a movie. Look it up on IMDb, look my name up. You don't you don't even know my full name. I'm not gonna tell you it because that's kind of Type up on line to be hashtag no filter. Go to the go to the cast, and then you'll see me, me and Connor on there. And then you can look at my IMDb. Because I found out yesterday that I'm on IMDb, which is actually very exciting for me. Because like being on IMDb is like amazing. Connor didn't really understand it. Like, he was like, "What is it?" And I had to explain it to him, and then he like realized it was like a massive thing. But I'm on IMDb. And it's really awesome. I don't know what's for dinner. Jesus, Alexa. Okay, okay. I'm going completely off track. Um, My character sees that as a good opportunity to go on holiday. Because I went, it was literally like a, like a few weeks before I went to Spain. So I just saw that as an opportunity. Back to the movie set thing. Ah, oh, yes. There was... When we were on that movie set, we were going to film... I wanted to film a Pickle Man episode 5.2. But we just really scrapped it. It would have been Mr. Rotz with Pickle Man. He goes to the movie set and he causes havoc. But we didn't end up filming that. He would have killed someone. Um... Anyways, yeah, Teddy sees that was a good opportunity to go on holiday to Spain. Which takes us to Pickle Man episode 5.5. Now, you may not be able to kind of find this episode because it's a YouTube short. Because it was so short, I just put it on YouTube shorts instead of making it a full on episode. Um, it's a very short episode. Start the episode, you see my knee! Because um, I a day before that I was on my electric, I was on an electric scooter and I was on my phone I was filming because uh, I did a daily I was doing daily vlogs I was filming myself on the electric scooter so I was holding it like that and my phone was in my left hand there was this little dip in the road and I, before I hit it I knew I'm gonna fall so dipped oh, I leaped. Out of the thing, I was flying, and I crashed right onto the ground. And oh, my legs were very, very bruised. And I actually, it's really cool. I have a on my knee from where it hit the worst, because like it was like literally there for weeks. I have a heart-shaped scar. I have a scar in a heart shape. Which is really cool. And I just love it. One day I kind of want to get a tattoo. Where I just, it's just the heart. Like, 
they do on the outside of my scar, like in black. Be a really cute tattoo. Um, yeah, episode 5.5. What a train wreck this episode was. I just wanted the, to use the most of my, like, being on holiday. So, so I was like, okay, let's film a Pikmin episode then. It was always planned for me to film a Pikmin episode. It's a very short episode. Nothing happens. Besides, near the end, I chase a random guy who I hear. It's pretty stupid. Leads to episode 6, which I personally thought was a really good episode. But, turns out, nobody really liked it. Episode 6, this random guy tells me how to get Pickle Man back. Somehow, for some reason, I trust this random guy. And, yeah, I just trust him and I climb a mountain. Yep, I climb a uh, you see, the father of New Halloran, which was just a run, because the mountain that was, there were loads of carvings and stuff, so, like, there was, like, like an elephant, a, a massive snake, like, random stuff. So, yeah, go into this cave thing, I go. <coughs> Sorry, I'm, oh, that's not what happens in the episode. Pickle man, wait, was it, like, New Halloran? Come back to me! And then... We meet probably the best character. No, not the best character. Moo Hello! Which takes us into episode 7. Also, I arrive back to the UK. I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. And I'm going to talk about a bit about Moo Hello here and the thing about her. I saw Moo Hello as a mix of Mary Poppins, so like against violence a bit i saw as a mix of mary poppins and black widow like so like really like posh doesn't like violence but then as she gets into it she's pretty awesome (laughs) she's pretty awesome at it so yeah the training montage this this is the I, i would say this is the smartest name of an episode don't bring a sword to a gunfight. No, don't bring a gun to a sword fight. So, so there's a saying saying, don't bring a sword to a gunfight. But obviously, I beat Stanley Box in this episode with a sword, so we called it Don't Bring a Gun to a Sword Fight. Because um, Stanley Box tried to kill him with a gun. Which I personally thought was a very smart name. I, I thought the name. Um, yeah. Yeah, this is the best and funniest episode. The train montage is the funniest part of Pickle Man. It's, it's my favourite part of Pickle Man. Favourite scene. Because everything like goes wrong. And, like, then you really, really start to see her shine. It's very cool. Also, it's a really good fight scene. Probably my favourite fight scene in all of Pickle Man. Muhala Hon vs Muhala Ho. I thought that was really cool. Really, really cool. Um, and it's a really nice ending. It was very good. It's, it sets very well up into the latest episode, episode eight. So let's talk about that. So this is the newest episode, released September fourth. I know that because I premiered it live, and I was the only one who watched it live. I mean, I, to be honest, it was like one minute past. F- I premiered it at like four o'clock, and it was one minute past four. When I realised, I was like, "Ooh, I need to watch Pickle Man." So I watched the ending of it. But yeah, um, my character goes off the rails when Mister Rot runs away. It is actually the first use in an episode of Fake Blood. There will be more use of it in the finale. Especially because of the craziness of the finale. Um, but yeah. So he finds him. Turns out Mr. Rock is a bit more off the rails. 
uh, starts repeating some weird stuff. I will win, and I will destroy anyone who is in my way. So, Teddy's a bit mad, he wants Pickle Man back, so he tries to kill him, then he realises this is the wrong, wrong thing, and I'm not going to get Pickle Man back if I do this, am I? So, he doesn't choose to kill him, Mr. Rot sees him, and tackles him to the ground. That really hurt Connor. That, he pushed me, I think. And literally, oh, it hurt so bad. I kind of, like, landed in a thorn bush. And it was, oh. um, yeah. So I have a little bit of a fight. And then I shoot Mr. Rot in the shoulder. And then that's when he dies. A death, Mr. Rot's. And then, of course, I realised that, oh, I'm not going to get Pickle Man back, am I? And then Muhalaho dies. And then I'm alone. But then, someone says, not for long. So it stops their foot. A familiar foot. A bloody Maybe from being shot multiple times. But yeah, return of a character. Uh, yeah. So, one year anniversary, huh? It's been a very good one, one year. It's been a very good year. And hopefully there'll be many more. Thank you to everyone who has watched me over the past year. Um, I will see you guys soon then when I review Oppenheimer, FNAF, The Marvels, Loki Episode 6. Yeah. Thank you, everyone. Goodbye. Yeah, that's really emotional, you know. Why was why am I ending on an emotional note? Um, let's end on a happy note. Um, oh, what should I end on a happy note? Who wants to know a spoiler for Pickle Man?